Hey, good morning. Welcome back. It's a beautiful day to start off. Let's look at Luke chapter 17, verses 7 to 10. And which of you, having a servant plowing or tending sheep, will say to him when he has come in from the field, come at once and sit down to eat? But will he not rather say to him, prepare something for my supper and gird yourself and serve me till I have eaten and drunk, and afterward you will eat and drink? Does he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I think not. So likewise you, when you have done all those things which you are commanded, say, we are unprofitable servants, we have done what was our duty to do. This little passage is one of my favorites in the Gospel of Luke because, you know, a lot of times for righteousness by faith, we, we always, everybody kind of jumps over there and they take a certain under, understanding, a certain interpretation of Paul, and they kind of work that way. You know, friend, and that's, and Paul's all good, right? But if we want to understand righteousness by faith, why do we bypass Jesus? If anybody understands righteousness by faith in the most perfect way, it would have to be Jesus. Here he warns us something very, you know, we should be actively doing the things we're told. And when we do it, do we think like we're going to get credit? You know, we're going to get some points there. I'll get a gold star because we did what God told us. He says, no, once you've done the things that you're supposed to do, don't expect that you're going to get some kind of a reward for that. Just do what God shows you to do and call it a day. He says, with it, no matter what we do, it's going to be unprofitable servants. We, you and I are unprofitable servants. Without God's help, we would have nothing good in this world. But as God works through us, as we cooperate with him, it's, it's he who's doing the good things. All we're, we're just kind of agreeing with that. And that's beautiful. That's actually kind of what righteousness by faith is. At the end of the day, there are good works flowing out through my experience, through your experience, out into the world. But you know what? We, uh, we don't get any credit for it. We are... We are God's own servants, but we're not going to stand in line and, and, and expect some extra extra credit because in the end, we're saved by Jesus. We're not saved by anything that we do, nothing at all whatsoever. So this is a really good, really good little item that Jesus has put us in the straight and narrow place. I hope you take the full lesson today. This is one of the most important texts in the Gospels to help us understand righteousness by faith. Let's pray. Your Father in heaven, thank you for your instruction through our Lord. He's teaching us something very important here. And so we want to be right. Lord, help us to step up to the plate. Help us to, to follow out and do our duty, do our Christian duty. And then help us not to, uh, even, even in some slight way or some small way, think that somehow we get some credit or that we've worked our way into some uh, special happiness, special salvation thing where, where you're doing 99.9%. .9%. We're getting that 0 0.01. No, we're not getting even 0 0.01. It's got to be all from Jesus. Thank you for all the righteousness, Lord, that we'll ever have, all of it from Jesus and absolutely none of it from ourselves. But Lord, help us to cooperate. And then you have all the glory. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name we ask. Amen. So friend, the Lord bless you today as you live a life of righteousness by faith, according to what Jesus says.